All right, here we are down at Zim's Guitars, and I've got Neil down here today. How you doing, man? Pretty good. So let's check out this guitar that he just got. It's the uh, this is the new Squire Contemporary. I'm a lefty. Right, left-handed Squire Contemporary. I was really excited about these when I saw them, but I, I noticed that they had uh, they had uh, right-handed ones with active pickups, and I was really hoping left-handed ones were going to be made with active pickups because us lefties we don't have too many guitars to choose from with active pickups but this is a very nice guitar but I got this so that I can convert this over to active pickups. And, and here's a theory of mine you know guitar players are modding their guitars I think this is a great candidate for modifications because it's a great platform to get started a lot of guys they have a cheap Squire and they put a lot of money into it and it's still a cheap Squire yeah. So I think this is a great guitar this for is, modifications. Yeah. This is great. I got this at Milano's in Mesa. They've right. been around since 1946. Milano's they, uh, music. Yep. They uh, they worked the frets a little bit. Get Did it they? all nice. Yeah. They worked the frets for me. So they didn't just pull it out of the box. They just didn't pull it out of the box and they set it up and everything. So. Great, it's great really guitar. nice, man. It's got I'm a, tempted to go there's, buy one. I don't there's, even there's know like why. A, I just want one. There's like a metallic. It has a metallic, like a, almost like a gold metallic that's in it. Uh huh. Hopefully you guys can I see I like that. the saddles. The bridge seems nice. Two-point bridge. So our plan is we're going to put this on the bench and we're going to modify this thing. What, what do you want to do to this? What do you, what's your thoughts? What I'm going to do, uh -huh. because I couldn't, because they didn't make one with uh, the active pickups from Fender, right? I wouldn't have modified it at all if this, had, if this already had the Squire active pickups in it. But we'll see if uh, Kurt Hammett's uh, Bone Breaker can uh, So you got some EMTs we're going to put in this thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's, there's the new ones that just came out this year. It's a signature pickup. This guitar is going to be badass. And we're going to put uh, a black pickguard on it. It's right-handed. I've done this before on another Strat where I had a HSS. Uh -huh. And so what I did is I just flipped it upside down. Okay. And I took this off, of course. And then right. I just sanded this down so that it was flat so that you have like this matte black on so top of this. So you're thinking about just flipping a righty. Work. You know, I know a guy that makes pick guards. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go over and get a pick guard for you. That'd be cool. That'd okay, be my contribution. Good. Let's put this thing on the bench and uh, let's rip into it. Let's do some mods. So what we have, these are the Kurt Hammett uh, Bone Breaker uh, EMG kit. I like Metallica. I've I remember listening to the... Metallica freaking rules, bro. Yeah. When I was in the Army, I was stationed in Korea. I had the Black Album, and I'm, like, listening to it and stuff while I was, we were flying and stuff. It was great. I was great. a big Metallica fan even before that. And, you know, when I was young and I heard, like, Ride the Lightning and stuff in, like, 81, 82, I'm, I'm like, man, these guys can really blast through those bar chords so fast. They are just, like... Fast at bar chords. And, uh, you know, that's what I understood about them back then. Yeah, so... So we got EMGs here. And let's see. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Nice. Autographed Even comic? Even autographed it. You got a comic book with it. An autographed comic book. Yeah. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Superman. Wow, that's neat, man. And these pickups. I don't know if you want to put this in a guitar. This is almost cooler to just leave it in the box. <laughs> it was designed to be played. Yeah. Awesome. So this is all solderless. Yeah, that's it's, uh, it's supposed to be all solderless. We've oh, man, look at that. There's a pick in there. Yeah, get a pick. 
Does he play little heart-shaped picks like that? Yeah. Uh, Does he? Yeah, they got a... Bone breaker pickups, huh? Bone breaker pickups. I think these are supposed to be a little more articulate than the usual stuff. That's nice. I like that. It's a comic Dude, book I'd cover. Dude, I'd frame that. Heck yeah. He got his autograph. That's great. That is for real, too. They didn't print that. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's on think, there. Let me see in a certain light. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I think he signed that. So it comes with the wiring. Comes with the pick. A sticker. Comes a sticker. And then all this gorgeous stuff in here. So what you do, so you got your output jack. Okay. And then you have this. And uh, so you have your ground, so you can just disconnect. You leave your ground in your guitar, and then you just put it in there and then screw it down. Solderless. Okay, solderless. So all you have to do is you don't even have to use, so you don't even have to, you can I'm just, not even going to hook you don't my even, soldering gun up. You don't even need to hook your soldering gun don't up. Don't even too. plug it in. We'll just make sure that when we cut whatever cables we cut, we'll just make sure we got plenty of uh, plenty of, of everything. So we got so we got all of the all the all the bits and pieces. Instructions. We're going to need those. All right. So we're going to get this guitar up here, and we're going to tear into it. And uh, so here we go. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's going it's, in right there. And what it is, it's a stereo. When you plug something into it, it completes the circuit, so that way it saves the battery when oh. it's plugged in. Yeah, that's 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 how you turn it on. There's no off-on switch. Battery saver. Yeah. There's no off-on switch for it. We had a uh, left-handed pick guard made. It has the little um, protective sheet over it. It'll be nice and shiny. Here's the original. So we can keep that one and use that if we ever wanted to change anything or change it back. Right. So, so that looks good. And then... Let's see how it fits. Looks pretty good. Black on black. A couple screw holes are just a little off, but it's not that not that big a deal. That's cool. Okay, well let's nice job. let's put the pickups on that thing. So I don't have an extra switch. I could get one, but I thought uh, I'd just show some of the stuff that you can do. So this is the output. This is for the neck pickup and this is for the bridge pickup. So I'm going to leave the red lead. I'll cut it here and here. Cut the output here. Unfortunately the instructions call for a uh, for a ground for the switch. So I'm going to install it here and then have this. That'll give me the four uh, the four leads I need for the switch that's in the instructions. And when I get ready to connect them, I'll I'll show you in the instructions where all that is. So I soldered I soldered the ground on. And uh, so now what I want to do as I go through each step, because this is a new pick guard, I'm going to fit it and make sure everything fits. What I did, so that I know what what is what, I put this on the neck section, 
so that I know this is the neck and I know that's the bridge. And then I know this is the output and then black is the ground. And then what I'll do is I'll just take it and set it in and make sure there's there's enough uh, clearance and all that other stuff for the for the other pieces. So as you can see tape on the guitar not good but it's not all lost. The issue is this right. and these. So what happens is the hole that, that runs the, the wire through for the output jack uh -huh. is very small. Too small for this to fit through, too small for this to fit through. And then once it fits through, then when it fits through, you got to have enough clearance back here for, for these things to stick out. And this is a big jack to begin with. This is the old jack. <clears throat> so there's some more beef there. So, so what I did is I just took this round file and just twisted it back and forth until I got the hole big enough. That wasn't too bad. But now on the inside here, I got to make this just a little bit bigger so I can fit everything. And then I'll take this and I may have to bend these a certain way so that I have enough clearance on the inside. And it, it, if it still doesn't fit, then I will have to just, I'll just have to solder these. So with one of these on, it sticks out pretty far. So maybe we can, I'll, I'll try first, I'll try bending it inward just a little bit uh -huh. on all three of them. And if that doesn't work, I'll try bending them kind of up. Or you might have to take something and, and, and file this down some more in there, yeah. maybe a big drill bit or something. Make yeah, something the key is just to be patient, go slow, and uh, I'll kind of show you what I'm doing on making this big. As I told you, I wouldn't use a drill bit to do this part because if it catches, you could crack it right here. I just took it and just spun it like this. And it made the hole just fine. Just take, and what just are you be a little patient. Give yourself more clearance. So what I'm doing in. here is, is I just take this, uh -huh. I put my hand here, and I have the tape around, and then I just kind of just it, it keep filing it's, away. Yeah, at just it. filing it away at it. I don't want to go too far because we have the whole tremolo system is on the other side here. So I don't want to go. I don't want to go too far, but that's all right though. We'll get it. Just take some time. Be patient. I will have my bone breaker guitar. I worked on Blackhawks in the Army for 10 years, so not a lot of wood on a Blackhawk. But not a problem. Basically, the kit looks to me like the kit was made, it's made for like a Les Paul type guitar or like the ESP type, you know, dual humbucker style guitars. Something that gives you yeah. more room. And it, it's, it's basically, you just have the flat, the flat jack that, that this rests up against and then it fits in here like so. But that's okay. I can make it work. So what I'm doing is I'm just finishing up a little space in the inside there to make room for that. I don't have to desolder them. I just bent the uh, bent these in just a little bit, and it looks like it fits. I just gotta just tighten some stuff up. And then we'll do that. See how this runs. Looking good. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to run this through. As you can see, we just kind of dangle it in there like so. And then on this one, since this has got to go in there, to get both of these with this, it's not enough room. But there's enough room for this. 
So we'll just put this in like so. And voila. So what we have, we're looking at this. Master volume, master tone, bridge pickup, neck pickup, battery. We're using we're using this. So you got ground. You've got uh, one goes to pickup, one or one goes to neck, one goes to bridge, one goes to the output. So so what we'll do is you'll see that the two tangs are on this side, just like that. And then we have this is going to be on this side where this is, and uh, it's going to work pretty good. So as you can see, we got this like so, and it looks good. And we have all of our pieces out like that. So what I did is you just put the wires, one for the bridge, one for the neck. Remember I made this one the neck because that's where I left the switch at. The output and the ground. That should be the output. I had to, I had to, I had to add the ground because that wasn't on there. And then the ground, the ground for the uh, tremolo or the strings which will go in right there and then I'll throw in the pots plug it all in I'll kind of tuck this out of the way a little bit as best I can and then uh, throw a battery on it and see how it works so I needed to add a spacer because of the how thin the pick guard is this kit was made for like a Les Paul type thing which is fine you just got to improvise. So what I had to do is because of the material that the washer is made out of, I went ahead, I had to shave it down a little bit so that it wasn't sticking up too much. So looking good so far. I'll plug in the cables and almost there, almost ready to test. All right, so now we're gonna, I'll put the pickups in, this one being the bridge and this one's the neck. It just goes in like a normal humbucking pickup. All right, got the pickups on. We'll get the plastic off of that once we know everything works. We'll get the cables connected into here. So the pickups will go in here and then the cable has a red for the battery and then that goes off to each one of those. Then there's, we'll unplug this and this will go into this battery bus this will go to output and then the uh, bridge the bridge and the neck will go together and I've got a 9 volt battery and put a little foam in there and I think we'll be good to go. You'll see an arrow on this side on the red right and you line it up just like this And on it goes. And on it goes. And we'll get the other one here. Not like this. The arrow is on the red. And it'll be just like so. And you can see where they have the arrow. Mm -hmm. The arrow, and the, the arrow is going to be the same way on this. So this is the bridge pickup. Oh, let me set this down. Okay. So this will be the bridge pickup. So, so what we do is we find there is the arrow, and this is the bridge pick up so plug that in like so and then the battery goes in like so now the neck 
the arrow. So the arrow goes in. And they also labeled them. As you can see, there's a B and a W, black and white, for the color coded mm -hmm. stuff. Let me get this seated properly first. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then take this one. And we put this in the battery bus, like so. Now, the only thing we gotta get the ground for this, plug the output on this. I can take this off. And then connect up these to the uh, to the bus. Alright, so we're going to go from the output, which is up here, and it's going to go to the master volume, which is right here. So what we need to do is we need to find out where on the master volume. Now, you'll notice it twists. So where we have, we line up the black and the white, but on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to twist this one backwards. It's going to be right here. And that's going to be opposite. And then we take another one of these. So they have the white on the inside. So that's going to be on the inside. And the white is going to be on this side, like so. And then that's going to go to the master tone. And that is going to be ground. Let's see. And then the output jack will get plugged into here. I think we are almost ready, Duracell. So I'm going to take this and it would be cool if this worked on the first try, but I don't know. Now, this is your first attempt at doing this. What do you think now, as far as these directions, has everything been pretty clear? The, the, the diagrams work really nice. Okay. Um, the thing is, is it, you're, you got to think about the orientation of how, of how this is. Like this is upside down compared to this. So the volume, you can see where the little thing lines up. This is the volume. So it's ground IO, ground IO. And that's what's labeled on here. And then on here, it's ground I.O. So black is ground, the white is I.O. So, so that's pretty good. And so now on this one, we'll take... So we can take this one. And you know what, we'll just... Throw that in there. Oops. Nice. And then on this one, what we have to do is ground I.O. So they're they're labeled just fine. The twisting I think was just for to show you that you may have to twist them around and stuff. Alright. And then, what we gotta do is figure out how's the best way to 
ground this. So, hmm. don't you have a ground wire coming off the? Yeah, side? it's it's on this side, but mm -hmm. this was connected to one of the. Um, it was connected to one of the pots. But we can always connect it there, I guess. But Maybe add some wire to that. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a jumbled mess right now. But oops. So. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this unconnected, so it'll it'll be noisy at first. But I definitely want to see if these work before I go any further. Okay, let's test it. So I got to take this. Let's put that one around like so. Again, I don't know what kind of. So I, I think it's just going to be a pain to get all the wires out of the way. So we're going to test if I got everything connected. So neck. Both. Bridge. Ah. Good. And then the tone. Don't want to scratch up the pickups too much. Awesome. The only problem that I have is oops, you got to get it all to fit down in there, is, huh? You got to get it to fit, and it's a mess. So I think this is a good place for the battery, and I may have to just make these wires on here a little bit longer all right so this is the layout as you can see and there's not a lot of room in here i'll be interested to find if there's a better place to to put the battery but the only thing i can think of is slide it in between And that's open and we'll set this one just like so. And, uh, all right, I got it all done. Finally, it's all so, back together. Here it is. Wow. So you got the Kurt Hammett bone breakers. They didn't make too many with his actual signature. The regular ones come with the green EMG on them. It's the uh, it's the new 2018 Squire Contemporary. What did you say? How many of these did they make? Were they uh, like from what I heard, uh, 160. Wow. Okay, so there it is, all done. So um, the 2018 Squire Contemporary series. Yeah. And this thing has been tricked out. So Good. what was the cost of the entire guitar now? We want to talk money. We want to know how much this thing cost you. It was uh, 350 for the guitar. Uh-huh. And I got that at Milano's. And then uh -huh. I got the Kurt Hammett uh, Bone Breakers at Guitar Center. And those were 250 Okay. And it had pretty much everything in there. I think the only thing I actually had to spend extra on was uh, battery. You bought a battery for it. And then just the work. It These, these pickups, they're... What you get in here are for like a Les Paul, maybe, you know, mm -hmm. or like a like the LTD or the uh, Ibanez dual humbucker type super strats. And that's fine. That's that's yeah, I, I wasn't like expecting to be super perfect. Strap, strap yeah. right there. And uh, but uh, and Fender definitely didn't make it so that you could just throw something like this in there. I, the only thing is, if, if they would have made, if Fender would have made a left-handed one with active pickups, I just would have bought that and been happy with it. But 
I like Metallica. And I like, I like working on things. So this was a fun project. I really like this. Okay, well, let's plug it into an amp and let's see what these pickups sound like. What do you think, Neil? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, here we go.